All right, modern steaders, we get some good news and some bad news. The bad news is we got five gallons of tempered glass in a bucket. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. But what's up, modern steaders? One of the first things we need to do today is get our work area cleaned up so we can get doing some more projects on the off-grid outdoor kitchen build. Let's get started. get it cleaned up and organized in here so we got a good working area and we're not tripping all over stuff. It's not always the best part to do, but it makes the work day go so much easier and funner, believe it or not. What you find? A lizard. A red salamander. I've never seen a red salamander. I've seen them before. I've never seen a red salamander. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, you want to keep them? Um, we're, well, we don't have a place to keep them, though. Go get a container from the house in the recycling bin. That would have been a lot harder if we didn't have you helping yesterday, that's for sure. Yeah. You'd rather have me helping yesterday than no day. Oh, definitely. You were a big If we go right to the edge, I think we can get that one. You know what I mean? Like we can yeah. get all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do that. Is the other one out here? Yep, it's hanging on the side of the... Oh. This thing. You can crank over one hole if he cares right now. Yeah. <laughs> that went hard. I think I'm good 
with this ladder, it's just going to be... Uh, got it. You got your end? Yeah. Now it's all the little custom stuff that's slowing us down. The other door we had a different style metal strip we had to cut off. On this door we have this profile. We need to rip this off with the skill saw to keep it so it's just this this all the way around. And when we did the front doors we had to do the same thing on this one. And I think the other side, oh, right here it'll show you. We had to rip that off too. We have to trim all these windows off, and once they're all trimmed in, it'll look just like a window. You won't see any of this. We'll have it all covered with rough sawn lumber. Oh, right. All right, modern steaders, we get some good news and some bad news. The bad news is. We got five gallons of tempered glass in a bucket. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there. But we got some good news too. Let me show you. We got the front done. The sliding doors work like you saw yesterday. We got the first window up. So we got our first window up and sliding. So now it's an outdoor kitchen. Now it's an indoor kitchen. Who can complain about that? The bad news, ready for the bad news? I know. We were drilling out for the hardware and I wasn't recording because we already had did the other door and I said I'm not gonna record it anymore, this is redundant. And the drill bit went, you can't see it in this one. Let's go on the other side. I was drilling this one out. Can you see it, drilling that hole out? And it caught something inside and it sucked the drill bit in and snapped. Yep, this whole inner piece of glass right here broke. We still have one pane. So we just put it in place. We still have a window, but it's not going to move. This glass is 3 16 of an inch thick. So it's thick, rugged glass. I don't know if it'll show you how thick it is on here or not. See how thick that is? That's some thick glass. So we're good with that. We just have a window that's stationary. We got our sliding doors. I'm gonna trim it all up up top. We're gonna have a half wall here, a wall here. The other good news is now we have three screens because these were three big screen doors. So I'll put a screen here and I'll be able to make it so we can have a screen on both the front doors so when we have this all open and this door open. It's a window now. We'll have it all screened in and the bugs won't get us. We're looking forward to having this as an outdoor kitchen. This is going to make a great place to have the hand-hewn farm three-day pig harvesting class. We still have a couple of tickets left for that class. If you guys are interested in it and you want to get in on that, we have a link to that down in the description below. We gotta bond off these holes, paint everything. We gotta paint all the tracks black. We gotta paint the outside frames black. We gotta trim out all the windows. We got a lot of cool stuff to do here and it's gonna be fun. We gotta finish off the exterior walls for the sides. I'm getting pumped up. This is almost done and this is gonna be exciting. I can't wait till we can start using it and we're getting closer and closer. Before you know it, we're gonna be installing the antique wood cook stove. We'll be cooking out here. We'll be cooking with wood. We won't be cooking with gas. I'm pretty disappointed I didn't get it on camera when I was drilling out the door and the glass broke, but hey, it is what it is. 
We got a five gallon bucket full of glass. Next time we do any concrete projects, whether it be a concrete fire pit or a concrete desktop, we'll put some glass in it. That'll add some pretty nice accents to it. You always gotta look on the bright side, guys. You always gotta look on the bright side, modern steaders. So if you guys like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow, and we thank you for that. Can you picture it? Got the glass window, we got a half wall here, a full wall here. That's gonna look so nice. We'll have a stove pipe coming up and going straight out. The door frames and the metal rail are all gonna be a flat black. That's just gonna look nice. We got a seven foot wide open in here. If we need to, we can drive a car into our kitchen. All right. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. And once we reach 10,000 subscribers, we'll be doing some giveaways. I'm getting excited for that. We're working on the shirts. We got the t-shirt sample in the other day. I like it. Gina really likes the sample. We're waiting on the sweatshirt to show up because we want to have t-shirts and sweatshirts to be selling. So we're looking forward to those. We're working on the website. We've got some, I think we've got three or four blog posts done. Before we launch the site, we're going to have five posts all done and up and ready for you modern status. I'm getting pretty excited about this. So. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you tomorrow.